Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Elsie Michelle, and today I'm gonna to be doing a what's in my bag video. So I have the Neverfull bag in the Damier Urban print in the size MM. I've had this bag for about four years now, and I have gotten a lot of use out of this bag. I've used it for like an everyday bag, a traveling bag, a work bag. Occasionally when I do go to the beach, I will literally dump everything out of here. I just put like my beach towels and stuff in here. So yeah, if you are considering getting the Neverfull, like don't even sleep on it. I promise you, just get it. It's a really good investment and you're not going to regret it. Initially, I wanted to get the GM size. Um, however, the LV store in St. Thomas only had the MM in the Damier Evin print. So I had to settle for the medium size bag. But nonetheless, even though it's the medium size, it still accommodates or holds quite a bit of stuff. So if you're interested in seeing what I keep in my bag or what I consider to be essential, please continue to watch. So the first item that I'm going to start with is my headphone case. So I ordered this from Shein a couple months ago and I think it's just a really cute little compact case to store my headphones because a lot of times when I just throw my headphones in there they get lost in there and I'm always looking for them so I just think it's really convenient to have um, a headphone case to store my headphones. So okay, the next item is going to be my planner. I have to keep myself organized and structured all the time. I just always have so many things going on whether it's with work, my personal life, trying to keep YouTube organized. Um, but yeah, I have to keep things color coordinated in my planner. So anything like with YouTube, I put in red. Um, anything in green ink is pertaining to like finances, if I have to make a payment, um, or if I have to like deposit like cash or money. Anything in black ink is going to be like little weekly reminders, nothing that is of high priority basically. If I have any appointments, I would put those in blue ink. So yeah, this is how I keep myself organized because if I try to keep like a mental note of everything that I need to do, some things will fall through the cracks. So I keep myself less stressed when I can just do like a to-do list and I can check things off on my list as I go along. But yeah, the planner is definitely um, an essential for me. But and I forgot to mention, I got this planner from Target. So next is this umbrella. I went to undergrad in Florida and Florida's weather is so whimsical. Like one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's pouring raining, or one minute it's cold and then it's hot. So I always like to be prepared. Um, that's one thing that Florida's weather has always taught me is always be prepared. So yeah, I always keep this compact little umbrella with me. I have yet to find another compact umbrella like this. So I'm gonna hold on to this until it is um, not functional. But yeah, I always keep an umbrella in my purse. Okay, so if you are a female, I think that you should always have wipes with you at all times. Like my days start pretty early um, and they end pretty late as well. So throughout the day, I just like to freshen up and feel clean by using wipes. Normally, I like the individually wrapped ones, but these are just as fine. And I got these in St. Thomas at, um, at Walgreens. So next is my water bottle. So I think it's important to always have a really good water intake throughout the day. I consume the majority of my water in the morning time and then I will just replenish my bottle throughout the day. But yeah, I got this really cute bottle from Target. So I do wear glasses um, and I have my little glasses and a little case. I got these frames from Fermo. If you've never heard about Fermo, it's this online site that sells frames. So whatever color or style you can think of, they probably have it and they're all at really affordable prices. So next is my wallet. I think you call this the Clements wallet, but I got it a couple years ago and honestly, I hardly use it. Like ever since I purchased my key pouch with the key clay, I've been using this less and less. Yeah, I don't know, I might try to post this on Poshmark and sell it. But um, yeah, I have a lot of receipts in here, some cards, um, a little bit of cash as well. But yeah, since I've been using the key clay, I hardly touch this. So this is the keychain that I was talking about. I purchased this a couple months ago and I also did a review on it. So if you wanna check it out, I will leave it down, um, linked down below in the description box. But I use this every day. It's so practical and I'm really happy with this purchase. And that's why I hardly use my Clements wallet um, because this is just small. I can take it anywhere, really compact. So I keep my cards in here, like my everyday cards that I use on a regular basis, as well as a little bit of cash. So. So next is my laptop. So I think I got this case from Target a couple years ago. I have a profound interest in the health field and it's important for me to always continue my education. So with that being said, I always have to have a purse or a bag that allows me to carry my laptop with me, whether it's for traveling or for everyday use, I always have to have um, a bag that allows me to carry my computer case with me or my computer with me. 
anytime I'm traveling with my laptop, I always have to take my little um, computer or electronic pouch with me. I got this from Kiplin a long time ago. Well, I wouldn't say a long time ago, a couple of years ago. I keep like important cords in here. If I need to transfer something from my cell phone to my laptop, I have those cords. I have different um, storage devices, a little jump drive. I have my mouse in here for my laptop. I also have my little electronic pen. So if I have to sign any documents electronically or make notes in my, uh, my laptop, I have my pen. The next item that I have is a portable charger. I hate being on the go or being on the road and my battery is dying and I don't have any place or any like outlet to charge my phone. So I think it's really convenient to have a portable charger with me. I've had this for quite a few years and it's still going strong. Portable charger is definitely an essential for me. The Neverfull comes with a little wristlet. I honestly don't even use it. Nine times out of ten, if I am using my Neverfull bag, but this is not even in there. I, I mean, I guess you could probably use it, you know, to put cash in or use it as like a little feminine pouch or something, but I, I don't use it at all. Okay, so next is going to be my cash all. I got this from Forever 21 a couple years ago, and I don't want to let go of it, but I think I'm going to have to do it pretty soon because it's peeling and stuff. So I do wear retainer. So I have my little retainer case. I have a little brush in here. I keep a little bottle of isopropyl alcohol on me at all times. Just in case I'm on the go, if I forget my hand sanitizer, at least I have this. You can use this just to spray on your hands or any surfaces that you are going to be using. I have a little bottle of CeraVe lotion. Um, I have Altoids. I have a little Lysol spray that I use as well. I always keep floss with me. This is, I think, from Target. If I get it from Target or um from walmart but i love travel size things so instead of keeping a walking around with a large bottle of like the aleve bottle i just put a couple tablets in here i have a little compact mirror i have a comb watch my i think it was my mini pochette and my key play video i always have a eos lip moisturizer with me like this is the best brand ever and they always have really nice flavors of course i have a couple of masks with me that i keep in my bag as well so that concludes my what fits in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.